Hey Brendan, I uh, just watched your set there, thought you were really good. I didn't think I was going to like your brand of Nemo music to be honest, but you're pretty good. So uh, if you have any albums on cassettes, I wouldn't mind picking one up maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, best of luck, you bastard. Right. I'm going to shout myself out here, just turned 23, we're in fucking Munich, Germany, hanging with my boy Gary. And uh, we just walked and got a celebratory pizza mm. and some chips. So I'm pretty excited, just wanted to prove that we actually did it, because uh, no one's going to fucking believe us. So, legendary lads right here. We're going to go on the zip line, Brighton, here at the pier, hopefully. It was closed, god damn it. It was closed. So we're going to see if we can find something else here. About to hit up the uh, horror hotel with my boy. We're at the Brighton Pier. It's pretty cool, I guess. Got a show later, so we get some thrills in. All right, since the zip line was closed, we're gonna do an escape room. This is Gary's first escape room. How you feeling about that? Pretty nervous. Over here. We escaped. Dominated it. Mostly Gary, but you know, gave a couple of hints. That was fun. Thank you, Brighton. Good time. Gonna play the show soon. Probably get a couple of protein bars at Sainsbury's. It's my favorite stop in the UK. Here, I'm gonna turn the screen around. So we're in Manchester United Kingdom right now. Bri is playing right now. I just finished and it's Thursday. It's Thursday, so I wanted to make a little vlog. It's probably gonna be a bit of a quicker one. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I wanted to talk about today. I think uh, part, part of what I want to talk about is um, just kind of what this tour has taught me because every time I tour, I'm sure my battery's good. Okay. But every time I tour, it seems to teach me something different. It seems to there seems to be some kind of lesson in every single one that's different and very relevant to where I'm at. Um, so, as you guys know, I planned on doing because this tour basically like um, it's my first support tour in the in the UK and Europe. So I, support means like opening for somebody else who's, who um, you know opening for a bigger band or whatever. And um, so I, I was really excited to play in front of new people, and it was really fucking sick being able to do that and meet so many people who uh, who had never heard my music but wanted to you know listen to it and talk to me afterward and bought my merch and uh, you know downloaded it on Spotify and whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, one thing that I think this has taught me, what I think, I and mean, it's not over, it's still a couple days left, but I had planned to do. I was kind of freaking out for a while because I was like, man. You know, it seems like, it feels like Save We Can Fly is kind of fizzling out and dying down and people are getting older and, you know, I, I was like, oh, my last album wasn't very good, it didn't do very well. And just for a long time, I was like fucking very, um, god damn it, battery. Stuck in my head. Anyway, I'm going to try to finish this before the battery dies. Hopefully I can. Very stuck in my head about it. Um, 
But this this tour really taught me, like I, I I've been doing pretty, because my tracks haven't worked since the second day for some reason. Like my backing tracks, I've just been doing acoustic every single night, my whole set. And people really like that. Like that's what people liked. That's what people have been telling me they like about my set. Is like they're like, man, this brought me back to like all this shit that I used to listen to, and it really brought back a lot of emotions. And like I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna listen to you now. Like it feels like people are kind of gravitating towards that. And it's like the fact that my tracks haven't worked. There's been technical problems. So to where I've just been doing acoustic every night again. Like I mean, I still have all my sick like vocal effects and stuff on there. But it's like the fact that I have been doing that. And like that's people have been like really loving that. Like it's kind of brought me back to like where I started in a way and just been like, yo, it's okay to just do what you do. And when you do the extra stuff, which I'm still gonna do, like I'm still releasing and uh, performing at some point, it's like, but it's okay, like, you don't have to try to do something else. Like it's, it's almost like stripping back again. And uh, you know, I, I was very confident with my sets this tour because I have some sweet vocal effects and I have like this, it sounds really good. So I'm, I'm really confident in it. And I feel like I really poured my heart into every single, every single set, you know? Um, so it was just really neat, and I feel like it's kind of brought me back to man, like you know, I can do this. Like I actually can. Like this is like I'm. I fucking know how to get up on a stage and play with an acoustic guitar and, and my voice. And you know, when I do end up doing the tracks on whatever tour that works out for, after I put the music out, like that's gonna be sweet. But it's like I was freaking out, wanting to do that, and be like, I need to do something new that like you know blows people away and blah blah blah. And then that didn't work, and I was like, holy fuck! And then so I had to do had to do my thing, you know what I mean? But it was like, I had to reach down and be like, all right, I need to pull this out. I need to make this just as good as what I was gonna do. And it really seems like people can feel that. So it's it's been really cool and it's kind of hard to worry, but it's like, man, every tour is such a trip to me. It's like, all right, what is this adventure gonna teach me? Cause it's what it is. It's like my soul is just learning stuff. Every single time I hit the road and tour, it's like my soul. It's like, what life experience do I need to have right now? What is that doing for me, you know? And it's really interesting. So. Um, yeah, thank you, Bri. Thank you, everyone. By the time I post my next vlog, it'll be over. So, um, you guys have been fucking amazing. And I'm gonna miss Gary. I'm gonna miss Ross. I'm gonna miss uh, Bri. I'm gonna miss Al. Um, it's just been a really awesome tour. It's, it's one of my favorite ones ever. It's so laid back. Everybody's so kind. Just so chill. Like I've made like very, very close friends on this tour, and that's doesn't always happen, you know, like, it doesn't always happen, but it's totally fucking happening, like, I'm gonna miss all those dudes, I'm gonna fucking miss those dudes, but, anyway, thank you all for coming to the shows, they've been really amazing shows, it's been so cool to play for bigger, bigger crowds, and have awesome lighting, I posted a bunch of photos of the lights on my Instagram, say so we can fly, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna end this here, I love you guys, thank you so much, I will see you next week, stay cozy, and Merry Christmas.